a big day? <laughs> yeah, this is exciting. We are currently at Lake of the Clouds, but we are headed to North Mirror Lake Trail where we are going to follow North Mirror Lake, then Correction Line, then the Big Carp Trail for a 12.2-ish um, mile hike. So we are excited. We've got our camera equipment, we've got our food, our water, and we are set to go. Or at the trailhead, North Mirror Lake Trail is our first trail in this three trail loop. Total loop supposed to be about 12.2 miles. The way we stop and shoot video and pictures constantly, I'm expecting 15 to 20 miles. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Anytime you want to come out and hike the Porcupine Mountains, see Lake of the Clouds, it's going to be a really cool experience. But there is something extra special about the fall when the colors are really starting to light everything up and the sun hits it just right. So if you can get a good fall color day, blue skies and sun, make sure you get out somewhere to get a view because it is gonna to be totally worth it. From the parking lot to where we're standing right now was only about a mile. So if you really just want a scenic view and you don't wanna do the whole 12 mile loop, it'd be about a mile in and a mile back for two, you know, trip. It's a little bit of rocks, um, some roots, not any major elevation change, but just, you know, watching your footing. But if you just want to come out here for the scenic views, it's, you know, a fairly short little round trip hike. When you leave the parking lot at Lake of the Clouds and you're headed out, you know, to wherever you're going to go, you're actually starting on the escarpment trail if you're headed south. From the escarpment trail, you'll get about a half mile where you will connect to North Mirror Lake Trail. If you continue on the escarpment trail, you'll get some really scenic vistas and a very gorgeous scenery of the mountains and Lake of the Clouds, um, which is what we did. It's not what we intended to do because we were trying to get to North Mirror Lake, but the trail is not very well marked. The signs are kind of a little bit misleading in the direction they're headed, and there is no blue marker trail at the entrance to the North Mirror Lake um, split. So we're pretty good about following the signs and understanding that, but we made a rookie mistake, so I don't want you to make that mistake. However, we did see some really cool vistas. So if you're willing to hike an extra half to a mile, um, you'll get a really great view. But if you're really just looking to get to the North Mirror Lake Trail, this is where you want to go. <laughs> As we said, we are starting out on the North Mirror Lake Trail, and it's all part of the big loop. You go North Mirror Lake to Correction Line to Big Carp River Trail. You can do this loop in either direction because it's a loop. Well, we had some neighbors at the campground that had done this loop already before us, and when we asked them if they would recommend going in the direction they went or not, which is this direction, they said this would be the way to go because there were several times when they were going down a lot and thought, I'm glad we're not going up right now. <laughs> so shout out to Jonathan and Jill for that little tip. And I guess we'll let you know if we think they're right when we're all done with this. <laughs> but that's just something to think about too. Talk to somebody who maybe has done the trail or talk to a ranger and see, you know, trail conditions, not just what's going on because of weather, but also elevation changes. And are you going up or down? at a steeper slope at some point, and which would you rather do? I don't know about you, but Lake of the Clouds seemed bigger from above. Yeah, I was really thinking that too. I don't, I don't know, I'm, you know, I guess appearances can be deceiving. <laughs> Apparently this is one of the rivers that comes off of Lake of the Clouds. <laughs> I think so. You can you can see it from up above and actually just realize if you stand here, be quiet. You can hear the people up at Lake the Clouds Overlook. Oh, yeah, they're way up there. Uh -huh. Oh, we're on that bridge when we're up at the overlook and you point down and you go, look, there's somebody down on that bridge. I wonder how they got there. <laughs> now we know. Yeah, should we all turn and wave all the people like there? <laughs> yeah. Um, but as you know, so there's this bridge over the river, but there was also some um, boards and stuff that seems somewhat unnecessary today, but it hasn't rained in a while. So I'm assuming there's times when it's pretty wet and muddy in there and they've got pretty good board system going for you to hike across. This is really pretty down here. This is one where even if you don't want to do the whole loop, you could just hike down here um, and hike back just if you wanted to get a different perspective. I'll turn the camera around here at the end so you can kind of see where that overlook is at way up there. So they're too far away. You can't see the little people up there. I'm gonna put my finger in here. Right here on the ridge is the Lake of the Clouds overlook. 
that you can get to by boardwalk from the parking lot and stare at the crazy people down on the bridge down here that are hiking miles and miles. <laughs> What were you saying about? It's hard on the camera to see how deep that chasm is. Oh yeah, the, the camera just doesn't pick it up. I don't know if the video does it better, but that's just really cool with the water and the rocks. And uh, I wouldn't want to fall down there and have to climb back up, but it is really neat. These are the things you see when you get out here in the middle. Mirror Lake Backcountry Campsite number one. Which apparently is up that hill, I think, according to the arrow. I think that would be a really cool place to spend the night. So maybe sometime we will get the right backpacking equipment and come out here and spend the night. Because that's Mirror Lake through the trees. It is, so it's very gorgeous and very peaceful out here. So we just enjoyed lunch at Mirror Lake. And Mirror Lake is gorgeous. So if you have a way to, sorry here, there's a bump in the road. We'll pause for just a second here. Um, if you can get to Mirror Lake, it's always a good place. And there's a couple different ways from different roads, either South Boundary Road or M107 uh, that you can park and hike to Mirror Lake. So that is well worth the trip if you can get out there to see it. And if you're interested in staying overnight at Mirror Lake, there are a couple of different cabins you can rent. Uh, we ran into a couple of gentlemen. I think they said they've been doing it like 20 years 20 or whatever. 20 some years, yeah. And every year they come out for like three days or so, and that's just their thing. And it sounds like it's been a great experience for them. So maybe consider looking into that as well. We have now turned, though, and we are on Correction Line Trail. Correction Line, yep. Sorry, so we're I'm on, being attacked by a fern here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Angry ferns in... The Porkies. Uh, we are on Correction Line Trail, which we then take to Big Carp River Trail. Yep. Make sure I have that right in case you get eaten by a bear. <laughs> I know where I'm supposed to go. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. This is already looking to me a little bit different in terms of terrain. Um, and there's supposed to be some water crossings on this trail. And so. But we basically went down to Lake the Clouds, up over the middle down to mirror lake and now we're going to start heading kind of back up again so uh, we may encounter a little bit more elevation because the way the porkies go you're constantly going up and down around here well that's the thing we said earlier in the video somebody's you know suggested well if you go this way you seem to be going down more than you're going up it doesn't matter here you're, <laughs> I think it really you're, matters. you're climbing you're going down you're climbing again it's just part of being in the mountains but that's what makes it fun so here we go We found a pretty little crick. It's very calming out here in the middle of nowhere. And it's really the only thing that you can hear out here because it's, there's nothing. It's just peaceful and quiet. Only five miles to go. Five miles to where we parked. So we came off of Correction Line Trail just now, where we met up with Big Carp River Trail. Um, impressions? I think it's very weather dependent. Correction Line was for Correction sure. Line. There's There are a lot of muddy spots and there are places where you can go right through. Uh, you know, trail etiquette says you always go straight through. You try not to make a path around because you don't want to disturb you know, the wildlife and make a separate trail. Um, but usually there's enough logs, tree roots is, you know, things that people have thrown down that you can cross the mud without getting too wet or muddy. Um, so in this case, that's good. Now I can see at certain times of the year, that might not have been an option. Well, here, we are here at a time when there hasn't really been a lot of rain lately. Mm -hmm. And you can tell a lot of stuff is dried up, but you can also tell where there has been a lot of water <laughs> and a lot more mud. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind based on not just the conditions of when you're hiking, but what were the conditions just prior to your hike? Because that trail in particular, and we, we met a couple of people who said that Correction Line is known for having some really wet spots. We didn't really see anything dramatic. No, I mean, we're still dry. I mean, yeah, we have mud on our shoes, but nothing drastic. The biggest complaint that I have is the mosquitoes, <laughs> just because I don't do well with mosquitoes in general. Um, but that seemed to be the 
at least so far, that was the buggiest part of the trail that we encountered today. But now we have five miles to the parking area. Yep. For most people, we'll probably add a little bit because we keep finding <laughs> things to do. So our, with let's the camera. see, our 12.2 mile hike, we are already at 10.2 and we have five to go. So that just shows you how well we're doing on this hike today. If you recall, at the beginning of the video, I said I'm estimating 15 to 20 by the time we're done. <laughs> and that included our little foray onto the escarpment trail for the scenic vistas, plus wandering around. So yeah, we're we're about on track. <laughs> we got five miles to go. We should probably go. We should probably go. <laughs> So we are about to cross the Big Carp River, and this is truly a water crossing where we will be removing our shoes and traversing the icy cold waters, at least we've been told. Um, but luckily it's pretty shallow, so it shouldn't be an issue. And it's actually gonna feel good on our hot feet today. So here we go. Wasn't so bad. A little chilly, but very refreshing. <laughs> there are backcountry campsites out here by the Big Carp River. Looks like some folks were out here getting ready for a peaceful night later. This feels like more middle of the Porky's old growth. It's a different feel than the other different trails. Feel. Definitely more forest, hemlock, pine-ish, which would be the original 30,000 acres of virgin timber. Um, more soil, less rock. More soil, less rock. I'm a little bit nicer on the feet. I'm oh, sorry, you're taking video. <laughs> I'm like, I conquered the mountain. <laughs> How do you describe that? You don't. <laughs> Breathtaking, amazing. I think you're out of breath because of the hill we just climbed, <laughs> not because of the trees. Not because of the trees. But they're we'll, pretty cool. We'll say it's because of the trees, not the hill climb, but that was, wow. And the things that we, we were down there somewhere, somewhere, and then we came back up, but wow. If you get a chance to do this, I highly recommend it. <laughs> and we're not done yet. <laughs> we think we're about a mile to a mile and a half from the end at Lake of the Clouds. And we've spent some time ooing and aahing over the fall color here in this valley, which is just amazing. It keeps going. And then I don't know if you can see it in the camera, probably not. But behind me, quite a ways off, is Lake of the Clouds. So it's just a really neat perspective now. We've seen it from all different directions now today. Uh, and I think that's one of the great things about doing these kind of hikes is you see different things from different perspectives. A little further along the trail and right there is Lake of the Clouds. <laughs> The things you do for the camera. <laughs> we'll do the other angle. Whoops, there goes Ari falling down the trail. Let's see here. Didn't get that on camera, sorry. Things to do for the camera. This is things you do for the view. <laughs> this is part of the trail. 
In our video we did last year of the Porcupine Mountains, we were standing at Lake of the Clouds and I said it was my happy place inside a happy place because the Porcupine Mountains truly is a happy place. But I think being out here in the middle of nowhere, maybe not totally nowhere, but we're not in the tourist area. We're out on a hike. It is dead silent. There is nothing out here but the chipmunks. And this is truly, truly a happy place. <laughs> I think I'm glad I'm not going up this right now. This is really cool. A lot of rocks here. Yeah. This could be really wet when it rains. Oh, it's slippery. Yeah. It's slippery. I mean, it's going to be wet when it rains, I suppose that's... It probably would be wet when it rains, <laughs> yes. I think slippery was the word you were going for. Yes, that's what I was going for. It's been a long day. <laughs> There's our bridge. <laughs> That's the bridge we were on this morning. Yeah, can you see it down there where we looked up? That's cool. So about eight hours ago, we were on that bridge. Well, we made it. We did the North Mirror Lake to Correction Line to Big Carp River Trail. And what was supposed to be a 12.2 mile hike that they said would take approximately five to eight hours in true trekkers fashion, we did it in nine hours, 45 minutes, and approximately 15 and a half miles. <laughs> but that includes our little foray of a few miles out of our way on the escarpment trail, which gave us some really nice views. I think we saw Lake of the Clouds from three different vantage points today. So that was that was worth it, being able to see that. Um, really good trails. Really, I mean, we highly recommend this. Um, I'm glad we did it in the fashion that we did, in the order in the that order, we did it. Yep. Um, and that, you know, we started in the morning where we were and ended where we were at, at the nighttime. So, yeah, all in all, just highly recommended. Now it's probably not going to take you as long as it took us, because obviously for us, that included a lot of stops for videoing, a lot of photos, a lot of standing around, staring at the trees and the gorgeousness, a couple potty breaks, a lunch stop, a couple, you know, snack breaks, um, you know, crossing the river. So, you know, we just enjoyed it and took our time and we knew it was going to be a long hike and a day for us, which is why we packed appropriately. So I think, yes, you can do it in as little as five hours if you just do it nonstop, but we're here in peak color season and why not take all day and enjoy it? Yeah. I think peak color season is obviously a bonus to this hike, but I think you know, in the summertime, seeing all of the, the valley and everything and all the green and the lushness of the porkies would be beautiful as well. So figure out a way to get to the Porcupine Mountains. Try to get to some of these hikes if you can do them. Keep on trekking. And we'll see you out there.